BI3 is Bethesda Inc.'s grants initiative to transform health. BI3 is not a foundation. It's an initiative that Bethesda Inc. has chosen to launch, recognizing that people need resources to think differently and try new things. that fundamental shift in our community that will lead to better health outcomes for everybody. With the Patient Center Medical Home Grant, the goal was to change the model of care within TriHealth as a system. We were the first group of primary care doctors to adopt this as our standard way that we were going to provide care. And not only TriHealth, but the other health systems in town and some of the independent groups in town were able to adopt a similar model. We take a mother who had a higher risk of having a baby born uh, premature, and a mom walking through our door a year ago had a higher probability of experiencing that. Now in today's world, take that same mom in our practice, working with our providers, working with our, our caregiver in a solid team, they now have that support in a big way, and we've reduced the probability and the likelihood of a mom not getting the resources that she needed. First Step Home is a program for women in recovery for drugs and alcohol, and we allow the children to live here with the moms up to the age of 12. It's a pilot program to not just bring mom and baby together after birth when everybody's healthy and sober, but to keep them together in delivery, even if mom is still in treatment. I loved going out to First Step Home and talking with Mikey's mom just about how uh, First Step Home allowed her to stay with him while she got treatment and how it was different this time because she had a little life to live for. We've screened 11,000 families in the last two years, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, we've connected over 2,500 of those families to a parent specialist. And then we also track and see what the impact of that parent coaching relationship has been to reduce stress in the family and to build resilience. And all those outcomes are really positive. They enable parents to have the tools to function in these really frustrating moments. And that, that gives the parents confidence and they feel like better prepared to um, enjoy time with their kids. So it's to bring more resources into the pediatric settings where parents already are and really to look at how do we address the stressors that families experience and not just kind of those everyday stressors but those persistent and chronic stressors that can really impact children's health down the line. What Start Strong was, was it was a really intensive effort with a whole variety of partners where the partners came together along with really importantly lots of leaders from that neighborhood and were able to just have transformative impact thanks to the investment of BI3. After decades of high extreme preterm birth rates, there was a three year period without a single extreme preterm birth in Avondale. We're really training the next generation of providers to focus on serving the whole patient, not only looking at their immediate medical needs in the office, but also what are the things that are impacting their health outside of the medical office. Legal help at prenatal appointments is showing good outcomes when it comes to healthy moms and babies. Tamaya told me partway through her pregnancy, she came in and told her doctor she wasn't sleeping because of an electrical problem in her home. So right here where she gets her care in her own doctor's office, Tamaya was also able to meet with a member of the legal aid team. And believe it or not, within two day, two or three days, they fixed everything. Exactly the point because... Addressing social needs um, improves the outcomes for these moms. If a mother cannot feel safe and feel comfortable going to a home in an environment where she knows she has the basic needs, whether it's heat, electricity, food in the home, um, a safe place to sleep at night, not, not thinking about getting evicted, we know that's going to lead to better care. Hospice of Cincinnati launches the campaign Conversations of a Lifetime. It's part of a four-week campaign to encourage young people to say the things they shouldn't wait to say to loved ones before it's too late. We really did change how conversations about end of life, when they occur and how they occur. We were fortunate enough to get a grant from BI3 and uh, it had to do with uh, integrating uh, behavioral health services into the patient center medical home model. And a couple years later, the uh, Medicare Center for Innovation came along and uh, wanted to fund that more broadly. 
We want to have private funding continue to be on the leading edge of change. And what should come in behind it, where we're able to have some proven results, is things like state funding and things like federal funding. And the great thing about this is the, the work that BI3 has done with us has caught the attention of some of those players. Because of the innovative projects that BI3 funds, we really learn a lot, and we want to share those learnings with others working on these issues so that they can, one, learn from the successes we've had, replicate any of the models that have been discovered to be successful, as well as learn from the challenges and the barriers that we've run up against. The first 10 years give me hope that change is possible. It excites me to leverage the work and the learnings that we've achieved to date to do more, to do it better, and we've got work to do. In this community in Cincinnati, we know that there is work to do and we, we are committed to it. And BI3 support allows us to execute on that commitment. I envision a day when Greater Cincinnati is one of America's healthiest communities. A day when every baby born here has equal opportunity to achieve their highest level of health and well-being.